Hi guys, Mark Donovan here from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm going to show you a small project I worked on over the past day um, that was basically converting a battery powered device over to a wall plug powered device. Particularly this little guy here. What it is is an old fashioned TV if you will that has a Christmas scene and Christmas music that plays in the background. And it runs off three AAA batteries four and a half volts worth of um, um, voltage. Um, and what I have done is I've converted it to run off of um, an AC to DC uh, transformer. So let me show you how I did that. It's really easy to do. Probably take you 30 minutes to get the job done. Here's this old fashioned TV music box with a nice Christmas um, display inside that lights up. And again, it runs off, typically ran off three batteries. I'll show you in a minute. Um, but what I've done, is I've purchased a um, AC to DC transformer that has selectable settings for, or for voltages and all I had to do is dial in the number of uh, voltages I needed or voltage I needed uh, to replicate the batteries that this um, music device normally plays on um, to make it work and let me show you what I did I'm going to remove this screw here that's holding the back door um, that keeps the batteries locked in. So what I did was, I basically emulated the AAA batteries. This is a you know, standard AAA 1.5 volt battery. And I made dow used dowels. What I did was I took some um, paint brushes that you can buy at a store, and they just happened to be the right diameter thickness uh, that emulated the, uh, the batteries, um, cut them to the proper length, um, pre-drilled some holes in both sides, put some screws in, and then wired the plus side uh, wire of the AC to DC transformer to one side and the negative side uh, wire of the AC to DC transformer to the other side of the dowel. And now I just plug that in um, to replicate the, the battery. And as you can see here, there's a total of three batteries that are needed. Um, so what I needed to do was string these batteries together um, to complete the circuit. Um, so what I did is I took the second and third um, dowels and again I made two pilot holes on either side, screwed a screw in and then I wrapped a wire around each screw before tightening up and I placed them in to act effectively as dummy batteries. And all they're really doing is just completing the circuit uh, um, kind of in series uh, with the other batteries that are that are in here. So after making up two of these dummy batteries, if you will, um, I just placed them uh, inside the unit. I did that for this second one and the third one. And then um, I pre-drilled the hole in the back of the door, ran the wire through, again just attached the wires. <clears throat> uh, one is I labeled plus, one is I enabled minus. And then just and inserted that into the device. Once I installed all the wood dowels with the uh, wires attached, um, I just put the set screw back in on the door to close it up. And that's all there was to it. Okay, to do this project, again, I used these dowels uh, that came from these uh, styrofoam paint brushes. I just cut them to length with a hacksaw. I used a couple small screws for each uh, dowel or simulated battery, if you will. Um, I used a length of wire, uh, just solid strand wire, um, to make the connections between the top and the bottom of the second and third um, um, dummy batteries, if you will in this case. Um, I used um, an off-the-shelf uh, AC to DC transformer that has a selectable setting. Um, again, because there were three one and a half volt AAA batteries in here, I knew I needed four and a half volts. So I just used my screwdriver and dialed it up for four and a half volts on this uh, AC to DC transformer. Um, so those are the pieces of the hardware, if you will. Again, the hacksaw to cut the dowels. I needed some wire cutters. 
a Phillips and a couple, uh, common and a very small Phillips screwdriver. Um, I also used a drill gun with a very small drill bit to drill pilot holes into the, each end of the uh, dowels to make sure I didn't split the wood when I uh, screwed in these small screws. So that's all I needed for tools. There was no soldering required. Um, it only took maybe uh, 30 minutes or so to build this. So that's all it took for me to convert this battery powered device into a wall plug powered device. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and make sure to check out homeeditionplus.com for other home improvement information.